All right, guys, we're gonna see if we can, um, if we can drive this seal. So what I did is I just took some of my Scotch-Brite and uh, cleaned out where the seal goes. I just used some Simple Green to clean it, and then I just took some 70% alcohol and uh, cleaned it out. So we should be good there. Um, I am using the Cummins tool here. Hopefully that's in focus. Um, you just put the seal in from the back and I just, I just want you guys to appreciate how well the seal fits into this, this tool. And I know you can, you know, just use a regular seal driver, but uh, you know, it is a pretty nice, a pretty nice thing to have. I mean, it's really, it's really in there and centered good. So for all the work we went through to do this prep, rather than have to do it all again, you know, in two or three hours if we install the seal wrong, I think the tool is worth it. So basically what I'm doing is the same as the thoroughbred diesel video. Again, if you want to watch a guy that, uh, you know, has done this more than me, but um, we're just supposed to put this Loctite 545, put a little bead around the outside here. And this isn't a thread locker, this is like, it's hydraulic sealant. So the fact that it's hydraulic means I think it expands as it dries, which is gonna make everything, um, everything push better, push in there better. So we put the seal in with the, uh, the V always goes towards the oil. So we're gonna put that in there nice. Nice and square. And then um, we're gonna put our tool on. And I do have pieces of plywood under here, the towels there, just to keep me from scratching up my beautiful paint job. So if we've got everything kind of squared up from the start, Um, we should be able to do this with a couple short blows right in the middle, square the hammer, and I got it in crooked. So crooked. All right, so it stopped, tools in all the way. Pull seal out, seal installation tool out, and see how bad we did. Because she did go in a little crooked to start. Maybe I should start with easier blows to make sure I got the thing lined up right and then go with the harder blows. Maybe that was my mistake. We'll clean the stuff off of here so we can use this again. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera off. I'm gonna turn the camera off just so I can take my gloves off, but I promise I'm not messing with this at all. I'll show you how it came out. Okay guys, so there is our view from the back. I mean, as I'm looking at this, I, I don't see any dings in the metal. The metal is all uniformly around the seal. I see a little bit of that red stuff coming out all around the seal. So I'm feeling like we have a victory here. And there's the front and I will get a paper towel and clean the red stuff off, but uh, 
I think I think we got it guys here here we go I think we got it so I'm gonna call that a victory but we'll only know until we start the motor all right guys so um, I'm really not sure what to say here I use the install tool um, but it's definitely closer to the surface over here than it is over here I would say this side it could come up maybe a 32nd of an inch uh, to be perfectly, you know, 100% square. But, um, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to mess it. I mean, it's a little bit, it's a little bit higher over here and lower over here. So, uh, I don't know if we just order another seal and I tap it in, tap it in, uh, make sure it's squared before I drive it home, just in case I bent it. That might be the better option. <sighs> All right, guys, I've spent a while, um, you know, looking up videos about installing the front crankcase seal and you know as long as you look at it this way I, I don't see a problem and and i think that maybe what's going on here is it's just um you know just my natural level of detail i see things in so i i think i think we're within acceptable tolerances and i even looked at the the video i took when i took this seal off and it, it looked like it was a little bit off as well. So, um, you know, I, I considered ordering another seal and waiting a few days for it to get here. But I just get the feeling that if I did that, it would basically look the exact same way it does now. I mean, I think, you know, with a, with a, I've seen videos of guys doing the fail pro ones which really confused me because the fail pro ones you put in from this side and there's a little ring and you bang it from this side which just makes no sense to me but that's the way you do it so it would be very even whereas this one you're using um, you're using the tool but I guess I just want to show you guys and myself Sorry, flip this guy over. So, you know, I've got, I've got the Cummins tool here. And, um, you know, there's no wobble. I mean, if I, if I try to make it, there's an ever so slight wobble. Now there's no wobble, so if I push it to the, if I push this tool, that's what the wobble is actually, is if I push the tool to where it's hitting the edge of the crankcase, I can feel some wobble. But I mean, it's, it's not wobbling. Well, that's a little, you know, there's natural wobble anyways. So, you know, I just, If I push it this way, it's, better, it's just hitting the edge of the crankcase, but if I push it this way, I mean, I just can't, I can't, um, you know, I can't, I can't knock this out. I just, I just know in my heart of hearts that whatever this is, is, is within acceptable tolerances. And again, just, just look at it more upright. It's fine. Looks good. You know, or move it around a lot. But I, I'm just, you know, looking at it now. But I know in my heart of hearts, if I do this again, it is going to, um, it's going to look exactly the same. So we're going with it. <laughs> 